This video will focus on how the raw panel dummies emulation application can be used with external panels and legacy Skahoy panels. So far, we have been working quite a lot with the um, bread and butter Skahoy panels, those that are current in our inventory, like the Rack Fusion Live. That is a uh, really popular controller that we uh, use a lot. This is a Blue Pearl Inside version. The other one was a Unisketch version. And uh, in this video, we'll focus on stuff like this. This is an old C15, like a legacy Skahoy controller, but it's compliant with raw panel and you can use that with reactor. We also have this C31, which is really cute. I think one of the first controllers we ever did. Uh, so these are basically from our museum, but we can get those emulated as well. Um, I will show you a loop deck. I will also show you a stream deck controller. And already in this video, we have some of these controllers on the network. The C15 uh, is actually right here. You can see the Raw Panel Explorer has found it on the network. So it is being announced using MDNS. And if I connect to this one, you should be able to see that I can actually turn it on. And I can also clear it off again. And I can work with the display. So if I go in here and I put some stuff in the displays, we should see something in that little smart switch right there. If I click the smart switch, we get a trigger scope activated and so on. OK, so all those good things are there. But what we'll do right now is to, to grab the profile of this one so that we could emulate it inside of raw panel dummies, which we have over on this side. I think right now, if I reload, I just stop raw panel dummies. So it will show nothing. But let's just go back here, open the binary up. And um, this is what I did in the previous video. So let's just remove that. And now we are using a feature called grab and go. So you can always bring up the help so you can read what it does right here. And we need to supply an IP address and a port. So basically, what I'll do is uh, down here, grab and go space and then the IP address. And what was that 11? Mm, let me see. Okay, C15. That's um, this one. Okay. 137 colon 9923. Are you ready? So there we go. We have now this emulated panel. It's also popping up over here because with this fake serial number, it is now a panel on the network. It's just emulated, uh, not like before. Uh, so now we basically have two C15 on the network. But if I connect to this one, you'll see the, um, the panel that we just created. We are connecting. We can run full throttle on it. We can uh, clear it up again. We can go to the smart switch. We can put content into the smart switch and so on. All those things are available in the emulator here. Of course they are. But the cool thing is that this is being saved into a file in the folder where we are running raw panel dummies called raw panel dummies profile. So these files, if you look inside this JSON file, you see that it has saved uh, it's missing a title, but we could supply that. But it knows the model. It's an SK underscore C15. We can also supply a description if you want. And um, yeah, you might want to do that. It has JSON code, which is taken out of the panel. And it also has the SVG code uh, saved right here. By the way, where is that coming from? Well, please read the raw panel documentation. Because inside of that one, you will learn that if you connect to the panel, like I'm doing right now, uh, was it like this, uh, using a... Uh, the, the connection from an ASCII based um, NC is like PewDie or PuTTY on a PC and it will make a TCP connection to the panel. And then I could ask panel topology. This is a command. If I do that, you see that I get delivered the, the SVG code and also the topology code right here from the panel. And that's basically what the grab and go function was storing into these two files. And now those files are being used by the emulator to emulate the panel in the web browser. So now we can basically say, OK, just grab this one. You can put it on the shelf again. I can send this across the globe and somebody else could develop with a C15. So that's basically what's going on here. Quite exciting. But go check the raw panel uh, documentation out for, for how some of those commands are, are, are working. So here is a little trick. If you have multiple of these that you want to emulate, you can actually build a little collection of these. So if you go in here, you take these files, and then you, you make the, a folder out of them. And I'll call this folder C15. Then the, the files inside this folder will actually be available to our emulator, raw panel dummies. If I run it again, but without grab and go, just remove this, and I run it again, then notice what happens in the um, output here. It says found ad hoc topology C15 in raw panel dummies slash in, in that uh, folder. And I can now use panel name to simulate it. So this is what I'll do. I'll just do panel C15. And now it is opening this web browser up, but based on the file inside the folder C15. Let's go back and grab another panel. We want to see the 
the uh let's see uh okay yes okay so um what about i think it was 114 but we can check that in raw panel explorer here let's just disconnect so i want to grab the c31 114 yes all right so that is now going to come up here i don't know why these are kind of yellow because Ah, okay. That is, of course, because these buttons are, in fact, yellow NKK buttons. They um, they they are not white. So this is why they are kind of yellow. But <laughs> I was confused for a short while. All right. So that that panel is um is now being grabbed, and we also see the profile of that one inside of this one. So we can now uh, create a folder of those C fifty uh, C thirty one, and that is now possible to emulate in the exact same way. I can connect. Let me see. Let's just find a USB-C cable here. So we'll just connect to my computer because I have an application that would make us the the uh, loop deck into a raw panel device. But that is not public yet. So this is more for like demonstrating to you guys what can be done. So the loop deck is going to boot up here with a little Skahoy screen in a short while. The loop deck is now a raw panel device over network. This is connected to my laptop, so we can't use the blue pill for this, but it is raw panel. It's on the network. We can, if we just scroll a little bit, connect to it here. We can try the full throttle, so turn on everything on the panel. So now everything is white. We can clear it. We can turn knobs. We see pulses is coming in on the trigger scope. I can also uh, use the various touch fields, the buttons here and the bottom. I can send back content to it, like turn on the button color, which is normally indicated by a little red um, bar in the top of the graphic here. And then I would also be able to put in like a color image. So you see color image right now on, ah, you don't. You see color image now. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so the, the loop deck can do all these things as a raw panel device. Once again, we want to grab it and we want to simulate it. So somebody out there in the world would like to do this. And therefore, I will now point my raw panel dummies in this direction. Let's just check the IP address. So it has the IP of my laptop right here on this port. And in this case, I need to specify a different port for this one because raw panel dummies is going to try and emulate this on port 9923. So let's just make this 9924 instead. And there we go. It is now being emulated right here. And our maybe we'll just drag that over here on the other side. Yes. So now you see we actually do have now two loop decks on, on the um, network. The, the one is the physical one. The other one is the emulated one over here, which uh, has of course the same features because we just read the topology out and we can now uh, play with this. We can um, do everything that we want. We can uh, press buttons over here on, on that. We can also emulate the encoder pulses. We can try to use the faders, which are, oh, faders is actually something that I invented that is possible in the windows over here. But since this is not released, this is like alpha concept stuff. Uh, I'm just showing you that this would be a raw panel device, which we can now grab a profile for. And just like we have seen before, it is uh, stored inside here as those three files. We can right click them and we can type in loop deck right here. The stream deck is the next target. This guy. OK, and now this is something you connect to your blue pill. You just connect it like this and then very soon you'll see that you have a Stream Deck popping up right here in the emulator. It is uh, currently just booting up with a little welcome screen, but you will shortly see as it has completed this. Yes, there we go. And now it is announced on the network as a Stream Deck Plus right here. So once again, we can connect to this and have all the fun in the world that we want. But in this case, we'll go straight to the grabbing action down here and let me just check yeah okay it is on the ip address of my blue pill so let's just go to 11.5 here we have the uh, port number and all is great so i'll just start this up straight away uh, let's move it over here so stream deck is now emulated on this serial number here and i have the profile stored in these files these three files would be my stream deck Whoa, plus. All right, there we go. Now, let's just disconnect all this stuff and then remove these settings and then just run the application once again, as we have seen a few times. It will tell us that because we have these folders inside the raw panel, Dummies profile folder, these can now be selected. Now, actually, if you did not move the files into these folders, they would just be emulated. I Just to prove my point, if I 
just put in put these files out here in like the root folder and I've run this automatically without asking it's going to emulate the files in the folder raw panel dummies profile so anything inside subfolders needs to be specifically mentioned like I just did by saying, hey, uh, panel C15. So what it will do now is emulate not only the stream deck that is in the root folder, but also the panel C15. So if I scroll, you see C15 is right here on the next available port number that we are specifying. So um, that is, that is um, how you can um, run multiple of these. And actually that brings me to a point, and that is with the raw panel emulator, you can obviously, um, you can obviously simulate many different panels at the same time. Super, super useful. And one way is to, if, if you just have like one panel that you put in here, then that panel is always being emulated. Apart from that, you can use the panel command and then have a comma separated list of, of things like C15, which is one that we know is in this folder, but you could also add like PVC fly, which we know is a panel that is in the internal library. It's embedded the profile of that one. So if we can just go down here, we see the PTC fly right here. And that that can be added as well. And uh, if you have not watched the previous videos, then just quickly, the list command will show you every embedded panel and the variants that you can choose to have emulated here. Finally, I want to show you how you can also have a configuration file that sets up emulated panels like on a steady basis. So if you're doing development, it's very likely that you are not sapping around in a ton of different panels like I'm doing. You're probably setting up one, two, three panels that you just want to consistently work with and you want to turn the application on and off without all the fancy parameters. So that's the next thing that we'll be looking at in this video. So let's go to the Skahoy GitHub repo and find the raw panel dummies releases. And inside of here, we have a Tommel configuration sample file. We'll download that straight away, or we can just copy paste it. But inside of this one, we have some sample code that will set up panels in the configuration file uh, that I think we find inside of this folder. You see this one called raw panel dummies Tommel. So take that, open in a text editor, like this one, and then you just paste this code in. Now, if we do that, we just need to observe a single thing, saving it, and that is activate one of the panels that you want to test. So what this says is emulate, emulated panel, break Fusion Live with NKK buttons, and this serial number, protocol mode being one. Hmm, what is that? Either binary or ASCII, we'll see. Uh, this port number, and that's all we need. So let's just go over here and then run the raw panel application without any parameters, just run it. And now it is actually going to open this one up. See, once again, it's opening two. We, we have the, the Stream Deck Plus, which had a profile inside the uh, folder. Uh, did I lose my, yeah, there we go. It This, this is the Stream Deck profile. These files that we just um, copied there for a, mo a moment ago. So let's just remove those and shut this one down. And then inside the tunnel file, the other one that we specified was that one, the Break Fusion Live NKK joystick with the this serial number on this part number. So this is what you would do if you had consistently the same panels that you wanted to simulate with specific serial numbers, for instance, and so on. Uh, if we go to the raw panel emulator, you will also see it appearing right here. And it tells you that it's, it's currently only possible to connect binary to this one. That is because I decided to set up the protocol mode as only binary, which is, yeah, forget about that. It's it's really not something that you would do. Uh, you would probably want to run it ASCII binary, or it wouldn't matter to you too much. But um, let's try to activate the two other panels that has been set up as tests here. You see, these are on different port numbers. They have different serial numbers. They are different models. This is a variant in black. And the Airfly Pro V3 has NKK buttons. You can also simulate locking to specific IP numbers and how many clients are allowed to connect. So, and protocol modes are different. Protocol mode number zero would be any uh, protocol, ASCII or binary. Um, this would be ASCII only, and that would be binary. But this would all be sort of clear to us if we are uh, now once again just stopping here by Control C and then running it again. Now it is, uh, let's just check here, it is starting Airfly Pro, Rack Fusion Live, and we should basically also see a master key one. It is right up here. And we see it loaded up here, the master key one on the port number we expect with the serial we expect and so on. So these panels are in place here. Ha, huh. did somebody connect to it? Maybe somebody did. Anyway, these uh, panels are now being emulated uh, right here from, uh, from, from this place. 
Final thing before ending this video would be to just check out the GitHub repo once again here. Just track one step backwards and then this file, raw panel dummies profiles legacy, that is a zip file. If you download this one and you open it up, you'll find that inside this zip file, we have a lot of profiles for uh, Skahoy panels. We have C15, C31 that we have seen. I also included profiles for a ton of the Stream Deck panels, basically, so that you could use those. And um, this is, um, yeah, mostly legacy Skahoy products, but also the Stream Decks are there. And this file is likely to be extended with more profiles as we are discovering. For instance, at some point, we'll also see X key panels added to this inventory. And then you can easily um, also manipulate those or um, emulate those using the raw panel dummies.